starting with a new kind of video here on my channel, which is how did I end up getting dropped? Let me analyze how I ended up getting dropped from this particular ride. So there's a climb here. I've been third wheel for a long time through this stretch of the ride. I'm currently fourth wheel. Raul just put in a little dig in the front. You can see that the uh, four of us here have now gapped the group behind us. So I'm in great position. I'm shielded from the wind. I'm near the front. Um, and um, I should be in great position to not be dropped at this point. So we're going to be coming up on a bit of a climb in just a minute. And this is going to be the critical part where I make mistakes and arguably don't have the legs, but more in the realm I think of making mistakes and I end up not making the selection. So it's a little bit different than getting dropped. So, wow, you know, look at, look at uh, Adam go by there. A lot of speed. Uh, guys are chasing. Uh, it is now a critical moment and I am not realizing how critical this moment is. I'm still following wheels. I haven't accelerated. Uh, there goes Ryan on the left. He realizes it's a critical moment and he needs to put in a big dig to catch back on. I'm on the wheel of James. James has, at this point, I think just told me he doesn't have great legs today because he's tired from this past week. And uh, I'm content or only able to follow him instead of going by him, hoping that he will do some work that allows me or allows both of us to get back on. You can see that, let's see what we're at, just like 2%. It's going to go up a little bit from here. Well, maybe not. Uh, I wonder if I have this synced exactly correctly. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like I have the power stuff at the bottom synced exactly right, but um, maybe it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like, yeah, Look, you look there, it's 7%, and it's not 7% right here, so I, I think I have it off by a couple seconds or something. Anyway, big gap right now, and uh, those are my three teammates in front of me. Raul, the guy who had made the initial attack at the beginning of the video or gone to the front we're the only two left that are chasing these guys and there's guys ahead of them ahead of the three guys in front of us and look how close they are they're close what if we put in a huge dig right here could we get on um, I'm thinking we're gonna get on but I think then Ryan goes to the front there and takes a pull and we start to see them gradually accelerate away from us. Uh, three guys working together, uh, strong guys, the two of us behind, tired. Um, and again, I'm not sure exactly if I linked up the, the watts here correctly, but uh, what we really need to do is be laying down like 500 watts trying to close the gap instead of gradually trying to reel them in. We're not reeling them in. They're going away. So, in retrospect, a bunch of the guys who were going up that climb were already gassed from everything that else, everything else that had happened beforehand. They got to that climb and said, I'm not going to do the loop here. I'm just going to take a right, take the shortcut. And those of us that did not want to take the shortcut, but wanted to stay on, not get dropped, not get gapped. Well, people like me got left behind, didn't make the selection. Um, so when I say I got dropped, almost everybody got dropped. I think everyone but like seven people got dropped. So it wasn't the worst thing in the world or the most shameful. I mean, getting dropped is not shameful. Uh, Learning from mental mistakes is useful. Like I think in this case, if I had been in the right position, I would not have been dropped, at least from uh, the group of three in front. So lessons learned here about uh, making decisions and reacting quickly. Uh, when you see things go, you have to react quickly or else it's not gonna work. So today was a weird day as far as the wind. I didn't talk about the wind. The wind it's like an east, coming from, sorry, coming from the west. And that's very unusual for us to have a super strong west wind, westerly wind. 
Um, this also led to me getting a KOM on the route, which I've never done before. Um, and uh, um, these guys uh, are, are st that were behind me were um, going to still follow this little loop, the water tower loop here. On the other hand, me, I'm not going to catch them. I don't want to be solo by myself the entire rest of the ride. So I'm tracing back to where those guys that were in front of me are going to circle back to and then I catch them as they come around so uh, yeah those were not the guys right there that just went by but uh, eventually we all circle back and, and get together we pick up people that have already gone along the route uh, that took the shortcut and we're kind of all back together but uh, yeah that's how you get dropped just a few moments of wow the pace picked up here I am behind wheels oh we're getting left behind oops we're, we, we're, we're gapped and done for so lessons learned uh, apparently I have to learn the lesson over and over and over again uh, again I don't feel like I have the, maybe the strongest legs in the world sometimes guys are just faster and um, today may have been one of those cases as I reflect on the fact that I've been dropped, or not made the selection rather, in three of my past four rides, which is a little bit unusual for me for the rides that I do. It's not like these are new rides to me, so something for me to reflect on a little bit. Anyway, hope you're having fun out there. Keep riding. Be strong. Be mentally strong. Later.